Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of coding problems. In this one, we are going to solve for length of last word. So in this problem is about we have given a statement and we have to calculate the length of last word. So here, edge case you might want to consider in your mind is if we have space in the last statement, it doesn't count. So if you look at to the example two here, input s is equal to fly me to the moon and here the last is space so it doesn't count so you need to calculate the last word that is moon which is four so i hope you solve it and i will see you on to the next lecture hello everyone welcome to the next lecture in this lecture we are going to look at how to calculate length of last word of a string so this is very basic question only one thing they have added is that uh, there may be some trail spaces in between the end of sentence and it might get some you might get some intimated so you don't have to get intimated let's look at the intuition behind it so if suppose we have given the word hello world let's reverse the word and set uh, reverse the thing word hello this is our main thing and we uh, reverse the string and calculate the length but you might say okay then there is fly me to the moon so what we do is we just remove the space if we um, have any space we don't calculate it we could check this by if operation so if there is a space we don't calculate it so so if we have um, we reverse this string and we get this string we have space here we don't calculate the space we just left it and then we calculate the last word i hope you could try this again and uh, you are able to solve it if not we have next a coding lecture to solve this with this i will see you on to the next one thank you everyone hello everyone welcome to the next lecture in this lecture we are going to code out the solution for length of last words so in our previous intuition lecture we know that we just need to reverse the string and calculate the length of last word there might be some edge cases, might some be trailing spaces. What do we do in this? We just skip it. So first we defined a variable length that calculates the length of last word. It starts from zero. Then we have iterator i, which iterates from the reverse of the string, that which means backward of the string that we need to reduce from one. Why we reduce value one from it? Because in, when we loop, we iterate from uh, zero index. We just need to remove one. So while we iterate, it should be greater or equal to zero and if we encounter any space we just skip it so we encounter any space we reduce the value of data i now we need a one more loop and then it, if we, we did not encounter any space it means we are calculating the length of last word so we do not counter any space length increase by one and we reduce the value of i iterator now we return the value of length let us submit it Hopefully this could show. Now let us submit our code. Cool. With this, I will see you on to the next lecture.